Here we go with deck number three of today. We are playing some good old Teamer Canonical Song. It's the Teamer Kinnon Rosa mid range deck. We've got Ren Six, we've got Kinnon Bonder Prodigy, we've got some Talismans of Curiosity to attempt to replace our Arkham's Astrolabe. So, Kinnon Bonder Prodigy is a blue green uh, legendary creature from Ikoria. As the text, whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, add one mana of any type that permanent produced. So that will work with Talisman of Curiosity just fine. Um, Kinnon allows us to kick our mana production into super high gear with um, Talisman, Springleaf Drums, Mox Ambers, and Gilded Geese. With that, we hope to play payoff spells like Urza or Karn or Song of Creation. Um, at that point of the game, we should be able to overwhelm uh, some of our opponents with sort of mid-range value uh we do have a karn tutor package in our sideboard here which is super fun so we'll see if we get to uh, mess with any of that um we also have trinket mage in the main deck that can fetch a bunch of one of sweet artifacts so this is hopefully the best deck we're going to play so far today with the post astrolabe world we'll see if our colors still work out we'll see if i don't know all of anything um is able to happen and uh looks like there's a zendikar rising super qualifier coming up soon that i have no idea what i could play for that the take oh, it takes magic online championship points i have so many to spend all right team or canonical song let's rock and rumble uh there we go counter hydration count going up to seven in our five hours this is why we kicked off uh where's my opener that's why we kicked off with the, the decorate because uh getting off to a, a a high start with four is the way i wanted to deal with today all right a long ass call that's all right buddy okay the jacket's getting undone at some point in the next uh, approximately three hours, the tie will probably come off, as is my plan. Reminder, stay hydrated, people. Stay hydrated. All righty. Uh, we got turn one goose, we got Uro, we got Mox Amber, we got Aether, Spellbomb, let's do it. We are on the play. We are missing one of our colors. We have a Gilded Goose that will hopefully be able to shore that up, and an Uro who will be able to otherwise. So this is quite possibly one of the decks that I feel most hopeful about continuing on into the future playing these cards. We are against Shine0905, who is... I knew them for playing... Uh, the, um, Gyruda, um, Gyruda Titan, yeah, 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 we're against the Gyruda Titan Jund Chalice deck, which is a whole bunch of nonsense words all strung together. Okay, so I can play Mox Amber here, play the Uro, and then when Uro's in play, generate one mana, which I will use to play my Goose. You're taking off an article of clothing for every three leagues where we fail the burrito. No. Um, I'm taping, taking off parts of parts of my suit um, for every league that we finish, whether or not we win. This deck is going to be fine. I mean, it certainly could be. Well, I don't have anything to do yet, but if I draw an Emery or otherwise, we could be in good shape. Pretty sure I just meant to bobble them there, but I did not. Probably going to see a Chalice on one, which is going to be slightly frustrating. Chalice on zero. That's even more frustrating if we pick up a... Um... If we pick up a Song of Creation... I mean, you can you can play through the Song of Creation creation with um, zero drops, but it does make it more difficult. Like, we're probably not going to be able to win. They have Aether Mage's Touch on top. That's a yikes. But they don't currently have the colors for it. And we just peeled an Ashiok, 
which will deal with that nicely. We'll be able to play an Uro next turn. Okay, works for me. So let's go get Scalding Tarn. Sorry, Steam Vents. Just gonna mill myself here. So on Uro next turn. Uh, play the Aether Spell Bomb since they put their Chalice on one, and otherwise I could sack a food to make food, which is not particularly efficient. So we got rid of an Aether Mage's Touch. No, I didn't mill them, I milled myself. They're gonna draw the Aether Mage's Touch. Here's hoping I don't get horribly punished by it. Looks like we didn't. But we could next turn. But I have an Aether Spell Bomb to bounce the creature. Okay, should be alright. Um... I don't want to fetch first. Do I want to fetch first? I don't want to fetch first. Thanks. I need another green though, so I do need to fetch first. Um, color restrictions in this deck are a little bit easier than a lot of the other ones we've been playing, so. Or in terms of casting this arrow, I don't think that I need to plan out the rest of my mana too carefully. All right. Why not mill them? Because uh, they already drew the Aether Mage's Touch. So it's already in their hand. I guess I could mill them just to, like, mess with their... I don't know, their general game plan. <laughs> That's in their deck. Okay. There's a Kozilek in their deck. The reason I didn't mill them last turn is because I'm an idiot. Because I was like, I want to mill myself to make sure I can escape my Uro when I could have milled them first and then milled myself on the next turn. That said, it's kind of okay not to mill them because... Um, not, not that it's okay, but uh, if they Aether Mages touch the other big creatures they usually play in their deck are Primeval Titans. And Primeval Titan is less than functional right now. Urza. Small guy land drink. Okay. Uh, so we're probably going to go attack before we do anything else. Yeah, let's just go attack. Crack. Hey. Okay. Um, play Soul Guide Lantern and exile one of my baubles? No. Play Mox Amber. No, oh, right. Yeah, that still exists. Oh, that still works. Play the Soul Guide Lantern, exile my Mox Amber. Uh, I'm going to crack this now, see if we draw something more relevant than an Uro. Tal's miniature, why not? Uh, then I can go 1-1 one, one to make a food. Might as well keep milling them. I'm not particularly worried about most things they could be doing here. All right. Ashen Rider, good lord. My opponent's playing Legacy. So we've missed a Karn, we've missed an Urza. Otherwise we're doing okay. Natty draw Gyruda. Sure. Um, if I want to fully fizzle this, I have to bounce it now. Question is, how much do I care about fully fizzling this. Yeah. All right, good luck. They mill another guy, Ruda, and a Vencer. On my side, they could dig an Urza. Shoot. No, that's the same Urza from before. It's the same Urza from before. So they can play Guy Ruda or Vencer here and then go again. So I'm glad I didn't bounce this Guy Ruda because the other Guy Ruda would just come in anyway. Vencer, what do you want to bounce? 
Burrow? Works for me. Let's get Breeding Pool. I don't care about this guy Ruta now that it's in play. So, yeah, that's fine. Food, 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 food. Probably not worth it to bounce. They're looking for Titan or something similar. Yeah, I think so. Hold on. Well, no, I'm not going to be using that this turn. Karn? Well, that's just wavy gravy. Okay. Uh, would I rather play Uro or Karn? Probably just Uro. Blue, green, blue. Sorry. Green, blue. Perfect. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Sure, that'll work. Oh, well, I kind of want to play the Emery. It'll involve cracking a food. Probably okay with that. Still have Talisman if I want. Oh, I can just use the Talisman. Okay, play my Emery. And then if I need to crack a food, it's uh, to play the, or to activate the Aether Spell Bomb. And then, I don't know. Let's keep milling them. Is it possible we just sort of mid-range them out? Really? Okay, uh, go eat this, chump that. It's fine. Well, I could bounce something here, I just, I don't need to. So when they play a new, when and if they play a new Gyruda, uh, they could actually do that right now if they wanted to. They could get their Gyruda from exile and then play it. This Titan? Kogla the Titan Ape fights up to one creature you don't control. When it attacks, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Green to one. Okay, so they don't have any humans. Okay. I guess they're killing my Emery. Hugo, is that you? <laughs> Titan Ape coming in. Yeah, there goes my Emery. That's fine. For anyone who doesn't understand what was happening just there with my voice and etc., uh, don't worry about it. It's all good. You, you're, you're probably better off not knowing. Love Kogla. All right, so we're just gonna Karn and get Bridge? Just lock them out of attacking for now? If I am gonna do that, let's attack first with my Uro, see what we hit. Your opponent is great. What a deck. It certainly is something. They've, they've been um, on it for a while, and uh, it, it is definitely, it's definitely something. Um, if I Karn into Bridge this turn, what is my plan for the future? Just kill him with Walking Ballista next turn? I think I can. One, two, three, four. Not quite, but soon enough. Yeah, I think we just go get a Bridge. Hello. Gone. Bridge. One, two, three. Whee! Okay. Now, their Sylvan Karyatids could attack, but since they're O3s, I'm not really worried about it. Nice. Aether Mage's touch. Sure. Okay. Prime time? It's prime time here in round number one of the third league of today. 
Primeval Titan coming in off the bench. And whoa, no, Shine 0905 with the concession. And you hate to see it. All right, Galvanic Blast is not likely to be relevant, and neither is Veil of Summer, so I think this is the click submit matchup. We drew, we drew our one of Ashiok, which was kind of fire in the previous game. No, J Jiggy, I'm aware. I, I know, I know. I was I was hoping Roy would would take the bait there. I know they have Defender. I wish they were Walls, but luckily we did get Walls back. Roy, I was telling uh, everyone that I wasn't worried about their um, Sylvan Karyatids being able to attack under my Ensnaring Bridge. Yeah, Sand is fine. Hopefully they haven't put um, Simian Spirit Guides in their deck and they can't get a turn one Chalice. I assume they have not. Moss Warp Bridge is kind of neat because they're like a Field of uh, the Dead deck. Field of the Dead lets you get the Moss Warp Bridge active pretty well. Turn two Uro into Soul God Lantern seems good. How do you feel about Kethis combo? Uh, I'm interested in it for Pioneer. Especially now that uh, Oath of Nyssa is unbanned because Ross, Miriam, and Tan and Grayson were talking about it on the Pioneer cast. Um, I, don't, I don't know if it's any good, but they were talking about it, so it might be. So, yeah, we have super explosive mana within the next couple of turns. Um, I could play Kinnon and then have two mana... I'd rather just play Uro into Soul Guide Lantern here. But then I have to Soul Guide Lantern my Uro because I didn't play the Misty Rainforest. So we're not doing that. So. Non deterministic combos, they are the enemy. So if I play Kinnon. Next turn, I can play Trinket Mage, get Mox Amber, and have four mana ready to go. So I think I'm going to do that. Hopefully they don't have something sneaky here on four mana. They could have Aether Mage's Touch and just um, put a six mana play onto the battlefield. So we'll see how brutal this gets. That's the way they do it. Demon. That's a great... That's just great to see. I love that. Yeah, and they get to keep it on my turn now. Okay, they got a guy, Ruta. Oh, you're right, Jiggy. My bad. Yeah, it would have been. Holy shit. Okay. So we're going to play Uro. Into nothing this turn. We're playing Vintage Cube. It certainly feels like it. Oh, what the hell is this at the beginning of your end step? Not the next end step. No, 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 no. That would be, that would be crazy. All right, well, we have a reasonable shot at going off next turn with Song of Creation, so good luck us, I guess. Well, this is when uh, Ashen Rider enters the battlefield or dies, so I wonder if they have a way to sack it. We're definitely taking the full 11 here, but... That does not put us close to lethal yet, so. They don't have a Castle Garen Brig, so they're not deploying a Titan this turn, I hope. So. Oh no. Oh no. Holy crap. Wait, it's just draw four? I. 
Stop, song, what? Oh, it would have given me the extra land drop. I, for whatever reason, Jiggy, I was just thinking of doing it next turn when I had more of an opening. Which I guess I still get to do. They didn't stop me, so. Yeah, I could have songed into Lantern that turn, but now we have more resources to go off with. I, it's been a while since I've played these decks, so that's not a good excuse, but that's my excuse. Just jumped in. What is this madness? This is the, the classic teamer Kinnon Erosa song deck. So it's Annihilator 4. Okay, so that's a classic Eldrazi. Okay. So yield. Okay. Groove. First land play of the turn. I have one more. Goose. Okay. This doesn't tap yet, so I don't want to play it. Soul Guide. It's getting dicey. Uh, uh, I don't know. Eat their Aether Mage's touch. I guess I just played the second Mox Amber here. Uh, yeah, that'll kind of get us going. Yeah, because I sack... This for blue. Play Emery. Cool. Then the Mox Amber taps. Springleaf Drum. I'm out of land drops though. Okay, we gotta, we gotta keep going because the Kozilek is gonna make us sacrifice a lot of crap. So... Oh, hold on. We're going to play Springleaf Drum because Springleaf Drum is actually mana neutral right now. So I have an Uro in my graveyard for next turn. So doesn't have Trample, just Annihilator 4, which I can overcome. So... Tap this for green, play a goose. There's a cannon which doesn't help me. If I pick up another Mox Amber, I could keep going, but I think I should just stop here. Because next turn I basically have the game locked in. So all I have to do is block this Kozlek, and I can sacrifice goose, goose, food, food. Do a spell bomb in the yard. Uh, no. Why? I don't think that matters right now at all. I think I just pass here. Well, I have to survive one turn. I have a blocker for the Kozilek, so. It's the only way I can think of interacting with Kozilek without blocking. We don't need to interact with Kozilek. We can just win. Do you want to get the bobble on board for the extra draw in case you need it? Uh, my Emery... I have Emery and Uro for next turn. I'm not worried about it. Uh... Why not cast Bobble? Because I don't want to go through too much more of my deck, Jiggy. I need a lot of deck to win this this turn. Cannot sack Goose if you block with it. I'm aware of that. I sack the other Goose. So Emery kicks us off by playing any card we want. Then we play Uro. So as long as they don't have Rest in Peace or something similar to that, we're good here. Garuda's fine. It basically doesn't matter what this does. Unless they grab something from my graveyard. Prime time. That's fine. 
Let's hope we get Kinnon ASAP. That's the plan. So many geese. Yeah, it was. There's one, two Urzas in my graveyard and no Karns. So Bridge will quickly lock them out of uh, being able to attack me most likely. Bog, holy shit. Uh, okay. Well, I have two draws, but that sucks. I mean, it's not that bad, but it sucks. Oh, wait, I have Soul Guide that I can put in the yard and then draw. With. Okay, we're good, we're good. It doesn't suck as much as I was blowing out of proportion there. We're good. So that someone thought sees my Thassa's Oracle while I'm on Breach and Pioneer. Hmm. Okay, so we got Karn. Karn can get me Time Sieve when I want or need it. Uh, let's play this Vista, go get what? whatever we can. So I've seen no artifact or enchantment removal in their deck so far. I'm not assuming they don't have it, but uh, okay. So sack this to draw a card. Okay. Play Soul Guide Lantern. I've played one land for turn. I have one more land play. Uh, let's get rid of their, I don't know, whatever. Uh, rest in peace. Sure. Scalding Tarn. Okay, so we're at a land place. That's fine. Let's play the Mox Amber first. Sure. Keep that one. Play Karn. Play Bobble. For the first time in a while, I'm going to be annoyed that I'm not playing a Thassa's Oracle. Because we're going to need to get Time Sieve and take an extra turn. Uh, I can play this for zero. Really looking for Urza. Too many cards and no Urza. I have a bunch of potential plays here. I think. I think I'm grabbing Walking Blista here to play for zero. But I guess if I'm going to play for something for zero, it might as well be in Staring Bridge. Not in Staring Bridge, uh, Engineering Explosives. The problem with getting Bridge and just trying to sit behind it is I think they probably just have a way to knock it down. And then I'm in really big trouble. I guess I could grab stuff from Exile. Grab another Mox Amber. That actually doesn't suck. All right, let's do that. The one I have in play is tapped, good. Play a second Mox Amber, okay. There's a Bobble, good. Definitely go for the save. Well, we're going to, but I need to find an Urza first. If I don't find an Urza soon, it's gonna be trouble. There's my main deck Walking Ballista, okay. Uh, Springleaf Drum is net zero, shoot. Okay, another Mox Amber. We're just running out of cards in our deck. I don't I don't know that we're gonna be able to do this because we're not playing the Thassa's Oracle version. Okay, there's the Urza. Emery plus Manamo can help rebuild. Yeah, I suppose. I still have Karn, so I think what we should do is just play a Ballista and a Karn, get the bridge, and then just spend every turn cranking the Ballista as high as it'll go. So that's enough for Karn bridge. So 
So it's going to be so many cards, but that's okay. Assuming that anything I have lives will be fine from this point. Keep that. Get the bridge. Yep. Cast the bridge. I think we just pass here. Seven cards in deck. Next turn we play Ballista for more than half their life total, and the turn after that we kill them with it. Okay. So, good luck me. Hope my bridge holds. <laughs> How do we win? Right now our plan to win is cast Walking Ballista out of my graveyard with Emery and shoot them for half their life total, and then the next turn shoot them for the rest of their life total. So we have seven cards left in our deck, this many. And then uh, we're going to draw one for turn, draw two when we cast the Ballista, which is going to put us to whatever. And then even if they exile it, I can use Karn to get one of the Ballistas. So they have to exile my graveyard and also stop my Karn from existing. If they have that plus more, we could be in trouble. We'll see. If they have any way to deal with my bridge, I'm just dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. Do you have a blast zone in play? Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, just dead. They play multiple Ashen Riders. Yikes. We could have won on the spot if I was playing a copy of Thassa's Oracle, but... Or if I gotten my time sieve there and just take in all the turns. Actually, I think I could have won that. Shoot. Well, hopefully we get game three. Yeah, I had the colors for it too. No, I just screwed up. That's on me. Once we had the Urza in play, we should have grabbed the time save because then we, we could have taken the extra turn by intent and done the line that I was talking about without giving them a chance to stop us. Yeah, I screwed up. I screwed up. We managed to have it there and I screwed it up. Which is fine. Deck is doing what it's supposed to do. <sighs> Bigger concern is that we have six minutes on clock for this game, so I'm going to need to try to play speedy speed. I want to keep that, but I certainly cannot. This is much better. I think time save was the right play. I agree. Okay. Just pitch one of the fetch lands here. Uh-oh. Also, slamming Song into Lantern on turn three instead of four might have helped. I, I'm not sure on that one. It's possible. So play the Lantern here to hit nothing. Turn two, we go Ren and Six, pick up our land. We'll see where we end up after that. I wanted to get the Soul Guide Lantern into play because they probably have turn two, Rest in Peace, or Chalice. Farseek. Neither. Okay. I think we go Trinket Mage for uh, Mox Amber here. And if we got the Aether Mage's touch here, it's gonna potentially be really bad for us, but next turn we get to go Urza, or Kinnon into Urza. Which is pretty powerful, so hopefully that's good enough. Okay.
you with maybe <sighs> Venser. Okay. So what is Venser gonna do? Bounce my N6? Oh, okay. Well, that was cruel. That was not okay. Okay. Well, they don't have a six mana play this turn. They can put the guy in their hand for next turn. Though. What? Are they what? Okay, that's a card. So that affects fetch lands, planeswalkers, but not mana abilities. So I think our turn is go this, this, play Kinnon. If I'd fetched before, I could use Ren and Six here. It's fine. We're going to use this. Oh, I've seen it, but I've seen a lot of jank. I'm going to go to combat, attack number two. So we got a good board going here. Let's just see what they can do against us. They've got the suppression field, so... Scary. Nice. Okay, so that costs them two mana to activate, so they're not really doing anything with it. Sick. Oops. Luckily, I don't need that right now. Urza. How's our clock so low? We, we, dude, we had long games. A lot of game actions each game. No. Oh, right. I knew they had that in their hand. Shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If they want to uh, sack their Sakura Tribe Elder for a land, they can't do it right now. Sure. Kill your Benser. They have one card in hand, they have their Guy Ruta in the companion zone, which they can't get and use yet. So. Okay. Okay. So they have a Guy Ruta next turn, but not this turn. I can sack this food to search for land. Their Steve costs four to sack. Uh, just two, right? Unless I'm miscounting. Oh. Um, blue, 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 blue. Urza into song. Uh, I can't activate Emery for the normal amount of mana, but I think we'll be okay. I guess I don't even have to do it this turn, right? Um, play that. Go to combat, attack for two, attack for one. That's fine. Okay. So depending on what their guy Ruta flips here, we could be in trouble, but if... It doesn't. So this game comes down to their guy Ruta flipping good things or not. So let's see what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your thing. Oh. Interesting. So I think we're just going to lose this game on time. Because we have a gratuitous turn here.
bog me. Sure. I have a Soul Guide Lantern in play. That's ooh, Soul Guide Lantern is super expensive to use for what I want to use it for. Okay. That's kind of problematic. Spell. Oh, I don't want that spell. Um. This costs three mana to sacrifice. Shit. I might as well just play the second song, huh? Rather than try to sack the Soul Guide Lantern. All right, it's a double song kind of day. Come on, we'll use that. Float mana, I don't care. Double song kind of day, people. Double song kind of day. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's what we need. Play bobble. Yield. Yield. Okay, cool. So we're just looking for Shadow Spear and enough uh, artifacts to kill them. That's what matters. From. Play it. Gild the Goose. Uh, uh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, let's just play a new Emery, I guess. Play a new Emery. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Keep that one. Okay, there's the Shadow Spear. Okay, play land. Okay, do I have another actual useful land? Uh, play EE on zero. Uh, Pitting Needle only costs one mana. This is a mana ability. Cool. Uh, Blast Zone. Apologies to y'all, but I really... Okay, Spell Bomb is important here. Um, so, Tap Bobble. Play Spell Bomb. Actually, we might run into problems with our deck. Uh, tap one, tap two, tap three, tap four, shit. Um, because the friggin' Shadow Spear is gonna cost so much to equip. Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> I could almost win this game. We go equip, I have four. Shit, I don't have four. I have four with that. And then we play that. Okay, so we, we had that game on paper because we had enough baubles in our hand and we just have a 12 12 construct. We bounce their primeval titan and we kill them. So, deck did what it was supposed to do. I just uh, played the earlier games just slightly too slow. Um, so, that's a shame. But that has been <laughs> the course of the day. Hope everyone is enjoying being here. And hanging out with us playing the crazy onslaught of decks we have been. In another half hour, we're going to be hitting the six hour mark, which is well deep into this massive undertaking. Duh? Duh to what? Duh, you're enjoying yourself? Duh, we were terrible and we burned clock and died? Trooper. I don't know. We'll see. We haven't gone even close to even on any league yet, so I'm really hoping we could do that before the end of the day. I'm hoping we get a single 3-2. Uh, yeah, it's a bad hand, but it's a keep. I'm gonna play this out since we're in the dark and they could be on some kind of um, black discard deck. I hear that Grixis list is looking pretty good. I, you might want to take another look at it before you say that. Holy crap, I found an aggro deck. Okay, so I think we're gonna do Talisman this turn, which means I can Uro into Ren and Six next turn. Is that true? It is, okay, good. And then the turn after, I might have Uro. We'll see.
Jesus. Wild sli- What? I- Oh, no, it's close. Hold on. I can play the Talisman, then the Uro, then the Ransex? I can, yeah. Yeah, I can. So, I think I run in 6 plus here and just don't pick up anything. Because I'm kind of close to escaping my Uro next turn, and we'll see if we can't do that. Metamorphose. Well, I might just die on their turn 3 again. So, that's been today, I suppose. Kill Fiend? Lavadar, it's a big yikes. 13, we're at virtual. We're probably just gonna die, right? If they're if they're going for the Lavadar, we're dead, right? Nope. Alright. Going to four. Kill my Ran six? Nope. Never lucky. No, that's not what I want. So if I Uro, I gain three. I can then... Shoot. It just depends on what I pick up here. Yeah. Nope. Nope, that doesn't do it. All right, tapped. Hold on. You can get an untapped land with this. So we play Trinket Mage. Get my Aether Spell Bomb. Can EE for one? I can't crack it though. I don't have enough mana. But I can Aether Spell Bomb. Which keeps me in the game. Trinket Mage into EE for one. I could have done that earlier. Yeah. I, mm, I, I'm going to take an extra damage here because I'm thinking about the EE line that I should have just done off the bat. My bad, Jiggy. It's, 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 it's been a bit of a day so far. Okay. Actually... If they flip badly here, it means we're taking zero. If they flip badly here, we might be taking zero. If they haven't dealt any damage to me yet, so what we do is we go block. I'm going to take one out the Talisman. Well, because I screwed up. Well, that's fine. So we take zero damage, and if they want to light up the stage, they can't. You can have if you didn't Uro. No, I understand that. I'm just, I didn't think of not Uroing because that wasn't something that was like an option in my brain. I was like, of course I'm going to Uro. How could I not? Lots of lag in chat. Yeah. So let's play the Uro. Draw. Karn. Sure. Karn gets me. 
get me these cards too? No, there's nothing there for me. Um, Karn gets me nothing particularly relevant. I think what I do is I play Karn plus it on an untapped Talisman to make a blocker. The other option is Karn plus on nothing and uh, get Soul Guide Lantern or, or Karn minus to get Tormod's Crypt, neither of which are particularly appealing. I suppose I could get my Urian, but it's not really good here. I think, I think the best way to stay alive is go Karn plus make an extra blocker and then just pass the turn. If we make it to the next turn, we're probably golden, which is asking a lot. Crash through. Yikes. Well, I do have a 6-6. Six, six. They don't have a uh, Soulscar Mage in play yet, so they can't shrink my Uro with their burn spells. Okay, looks like we got it. Attack. We can grab a damping sphere. We could, I think. Might be lights out for them. I think what I'd rather get than Damping Sphere is Walking Ballista for as much as I can cast it for and just pick off their Swift Spear now. They have a Kiln Fiend in Exile and a um, Soul Scar Mage in their hand. Yeah. Got him. Thank God we were on the play. Okay, so Ren 6 is not great here. We've got two of them, definitely Ashiok, and one Song, I think. I'm gonna keep one more Ren 6 for a Soul Guide Lantern. Oh, wait, hold on, I'm too far down. I don't know how I did that, but that's okay. Uh, plus the explosives, three blasts. Okay, I will be back in two seconds to get into this next one. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah. Let's win on the draw against Prowess some the hell how. Let's do it.
So this is bad. Um, yeah, I think I have to ship that. This is much better. Keep this, ship the extra Uro. Good luck, Godspeed to me. Okay, that's good. So we just go Shock Blast. Kinnon's an excellent pickup. Turn to Fetch, Forest, Kinnon, Talisman, Mox, Burrow? Holy crap. If I do it in the right order, we can do everything. No, I can't do all of it. Since I can't do everything here, I think it's best if I go green source, play talisman. What, what, is there anything I can pithing needle and moderate prowess? Anyone? Sunbaked Canyon? But this means next turn I'll have like Ramanap Ruins. Uh, no, they don't go that high. Yeah, it's just Sunday Canyon or Fiery Islet. Uh, let's take a random shot. So next turn, play Mox Amber, Kinnon. I'm going to have four mana, play Uro, one floating. See what happens there. No creature on turn two is crazy talk. I don't know if they have some like new boarding strategy. It's possible they have some kind of shatter, like smash to smithereens or something like that, which would be potentially problematic. Okay, well, I don't know if I took a interminable amount of time in my game one there, but my opponent is reluctant to allow me to continue. So we're in hour, almost an hour six, and I'm still at seven hydrations, uh, which means I have room in my budget for some coffee. So I'm going to grab some coffee while my opponent is attempting to figure out what they're doing with their life. Interesting. I won 
wonder if they're like tilting off the face of the earth or something crazy. You just realized something important. What's that, buddy? You are cake? I don't understand. Cocaine, amphetamines, ketamines, and uh, E. What is E? Ecstasy. Opponent lost connection to the game. No kidding. It's a Twitter meme. Thank you, Raytheon. That was a uh, that was useful. Metamorphose in the blind, sure. Okay. So, I am cake is a meme about the yeah 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 when when everyone was making the cakes that looked so realistic that okay got it got it got it okay so good draw so we play mox amber here and then we play kinnon um, then we have enough mana to play uro and the gilded goose so we do have to take one damage for it but that's fine. Wee! Dismember in the red deck. Because I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but in Magic, one of the things that red has a problem with is removing creatures of reasonable sizes. So they have to play Dismember for reasons. What do you got? We'll have a spike, sure. Pan Glacial Worm! Larynx Punch Worthy, you just let me know when you want to see a Pan Glacial Worm deck. Okay. So, I'm one mana short and one card short of being able to escape my Uro. However, let's grab our Urion. Uh, oh, I can only do that if I tap off my red. Uh, I'd rather have the red open this turn. So we're going to put the Galvanic Blast in our graveyard at some point this turn cycle, and then we're going to... Um... Hey, man, you guys, you guys know how to make things happen around here. Either you pay me money or you wait. So my deck queue is free to the public. Just let me know what you want to see, and I will eventually get to it. Yikes. Um, so while they have no card in hand, by the way, can we just, can we, the two fiery islets? Uh, 
Is this for the Belcher? Okay. So Belcher will be after the next uh, league. Uh, actually, it might be after this league if it's five. Does that work for you, Alex? Let me know. A braid. Yikes. I need that mana. Okay, they're down to two cards in hand. They can't cycle their fiery eyelets, so... Yeah, that's a good draw. Except... No, yeah, I can do it. Uh, no, I can't. Uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Just put Urion in my hand. What? No, well, I, what? Uh... Oh, you're, okay, you're off work after 4.30. No, I'll just play it. Uh, okay, so as long as you you don't need it done, like, if you don't need it started between 5 and 6, then I'm going to play the, the next league, because I already posted on Twitter about it, and then we'll do it after that one. Please do not draw removal for my Kinnon. Second light up the stage. So they have hit one Bedlam Reveler and two Light of the Sages. Okay. I got what I wanted. I think. Don't tease me, opponent. Okay. Whew. Sick. So play Emery. Play Uro. So I'm at 20 against the Prowess deck. And they have two Cycling Lands in play, or Horizon Lands in play, that they can't use. So I think we got there. Let's find out. Yep. Yay, magic. All right, Teamer, Kinnon, Arosa, still looking okay. Okie dokie. All right, let's rock and rumble. Fun fact, if you're using Chromatic Sphere and you fetch to cast Panglacial Worm that you can look at the top of your library and draw it by cracking the Sphere as a mana ability to pay for the worm. I was aware of that. Which is one of the stupid messed up situations that leads us to the question, are you allowed to reorder your library while you're searching through it? The answer might surprise you. Magic is awful. Yeah. 
Yep. Larynx punch worthy is correct. So for everyone who's all willy nilly about searching their library, just rearranging the cards, you're breaking the rules. You're breaking the rules. Holy crap, a giver of runes. This is either terrifying or hilarious. Hopefully there's a judge in chat to confirm. I mean, more than one would be okay, too. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't object. Okay, so I think we just go Ren and Six, pick up my land, because then next turn we can go Cannon plus three mana, Trinket Mage, Mox into Emery. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Panglacial Worm is god awful in terms of um, what it. Well, Panglacial Worm and um, Chromatic Sphere. Because Chromatic Sphere is also stupid because for some reason the card draw is linked to the mana ability, which means it happens off the stack. <laughs> There's also like weird corner cases where you like. Um, you. Um, activate Chromatic Sphere to play a spell, and then you find out that there's, like, a taxing effect that you didn't pay for, uh, and you shouldn't... Like, if you draw the card without seeing its face, then you don't have any problem. It, it's, just, it's just... It's it's very much nonsense. Okay, so... It's bad. It's all bad. So island, pick up my land, go Kinnon, Trinket Mage, yeah, yeah, I know what I'm up to. That's yeah, fine. Opponent is probably more than a little confused. What did they get with the... I didn't pay that batter skull, that's fine. Batter skull is gonna be hilarious against my deck. Uh, Mox Amber, play the Mox Amber. Hey Jiggy, we're still doing it. We're still doing it here, modern baby. What do you think judges hate more? Panglacial worm players or four more four horsemen players? Well, four horsemen players are way easier to deal with, whereas Panglacial Worm, the actual explanation is more complicated. Did they just path my kinnon? Okay. Good use of path. Good uh good use of path. One, two, three, four. Urza. Maybe they have another path, I guess. Could be possible. Uh, babble. Play the babble. Yeah, that's, uh, hold on. Have I plus my round six? I have not. All right, good. All right, now we're good. OP is brave. <laughs> yeah, all right, better skill. For three mana? Oh, no, no, they played the path. I mean, you can give it protection from colorless, but you... Do you think they should give their germ protection from colorless? I don't know about that one. I, uh, I'm not sure if that's a choice that they should make. I would be interested to see if they do. Because I can just plus my construct into a 4 4 and trade with the Batter Skull, but I'd probably rather take the hit this turn and then have my construct be bigger than it next turn. Okay, so they're, they're going to get a pro blue, right? Protection from blue, sure. Don't mind me, just over here running circles around my opponent. All right, so let's make a food and spook them. We're going to spook them. And then I'm just going to take the four because I don't care. 
I don't, I don't think mono white taxes is going to come out of nowhere and kill me here. Uh, the question that I have is do I want to bobble them? I do, because I can make my um, construct into a 5-5 five, five next turn anyway. It'll draw temple on top. Maybe there's going to be a smasher in my future. Okay. Oh, they attacked my Ren 6? That was unexpected. Sure. So we're going to Uriah this turn, you say. Very well. Um... Yeah, I'm still happy to fetch. Sure, I'm not happy to fetch. There is a Lena and Arbor in play. Uh, okay. Let's play the bobble. Pick up a land, because I have nothing to ping. Well, Arbiter Stoneforge Mystic is something that belongs in the same belongs that that uh, occurs in the same deck fairly frequently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so Goose plus the construct. Okay, so I could attack, but instead of attacking, I'm just going to make a food and then go one, two, three, four, five, oh, five. Six, seven, eight. Okay, uh, so I'm going to play Urian. I would love to see my opponent get through this wall. Listen, nobody has ever had a wall that's like this wall. It's big and it's it's beautiful. Some people say it's even it's even a little hot. This wall. The most important thing about my wall is that it's valuable. I have it enameled in gold because it's an artifact. All right, so construct. Don't forget about Cat Jesus. I forgot about Cat Jesus, so I just missed my uh, Trinket Mage on that one, which is fine. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We forgot about Cat Jesus, and I missed a Trinket Mage trigger. Uh, if I want to fetch, it'll matter. You can still pay though. It was it was too late. I clicked through it before uh, I saw Larynx Punchworthy had mentioned it. I know you guys are on a slight delay, so that's my bad. I don't think it'll matter. If it does, that's on me. Flicker Wisp. So that's gonna take out one of my constructs. Sure. The tapped one for whatever reason. Okay. Don't mind me. No, you, you you did it. You did you did you did good. As much as you enjoy me failing, you like me failing when it's my own failure. You don't like me failing by being actual stupid. Uh, this is six, so yeah, we can crack the bubble and just get a new one next turn. Okay. I like you suffering, not failing. That that's that's accurate. Okay, so sing, sing, sing a song. All right, grab breeding pool. I've already made my land plays for the turn. That's fine. Uh, so let's use Imri first. Play the bubble. Kind of want to get you eaten by giant fish, not lose because you like me playing bad decks, but playing them as well as I can. I know what you're about, bud. I know what you're about. OP is as optimistic as a puppy. That is potentially accurate. I mean, to be fair, I doubt they understand the level to which they're screwed here. Like, I, I, I would expect very few people in the world to understand what is happening right now. Good, good quote. Good quote. I approve of that quote. Uh, let's get a big boat, just because I love it, and I want an excuse to use the sound effect. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. Thick boat. There you go. 
Here it comes. Get out of here, Arbiter. Pay two? What am I paying two for? No. I just want that to resolve. Please. Okay. My dog never gets scraps from the table, but will beg every night. Isn't that the way of it? Uh, let's name Giver Runes here, because they've s 6 Well, maybe they haven't. <gasps> you name Colorless? You gonna do it this time? Aww. I think they might know. I think they might know. That's a shame. I think they might be on to us. Okay, Springleaf Drum, sure. So I, th I think we're close to infinite here. Uh, let's go for green. Play another goose. The generic boat sound. Okay. 12, 12, they're at 24? Good God. It's actually not easy to kill them this turn. Okay, uh, play Lantern, beat the Arbiter, oh there's a, uh, okay, no I forgot how much mana I was gaining along the way, I think we're good here, I think they're just bleeding me on clock which is fine, I understand. 25 cards remaining. Okay. Springleaf drum. I wonder if they... No, if, even if they have a path, they can't use it. Shadow Spear. Okay. Uh, Trick of Mage helps. Uh, blue, blue. I don't know. Green, green. The real mana is the friend we made along the way. Isn't that the truth? The Aether spell bomb. There you are. There you are, you naughty little spell bomb. Construct is 1919. Construct is a 2020. So tap one there, trinket mage for blue blue, uh, quip shadow spear to the construct. Okay, which is now a twenty one twenty one. Make it a this is pro blue, but it has the most toughness. Okay, All right. and then uh, play ee -E, make this twenty one. I kind of want to kill the Flicker Wisp, but I don't really have a way to do it. Uh, can I win this turn? I guess I'm supposed to get Karn and Time Sieve and attack them twice. Sure. I might be... Oh, I have uh, Walking Ballista. Okay. We'll just use Chris. That gets rid of the Flicker Wisp and then we're good. Keep that one. Tap it. Where'd you go, Chris? There you go. Where is it? There you are. Dude. Go to combat. See ya. Attack for exactly 25. Yep. Bye, friend. Yay! Got him. All right. Let's board in Galvanic Blast. This 
this is this fancy eggs? This is kind of fancy eggs. Uh, also, where is it? Uh, which one do I want? Uh, that one. Dominating. Seems good. Seems appropriate. All right. Galvanic Blast. Uh, Red Six is medium. Ashiok is not great. Comes down a little bit too late to matter. And then probably the main deck Walking Blist, I doubt, is all that worthwhile here. Probably good after that. Soul Guide Lantern is probably worse than the Ballista. All right. Let's do it. Yeah, it's a good hand. That's a good hand. I'll keep that. Hell yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> just in case they have a turn to land an Arbiter, we're going to get green red here. Play Gilded Goose and be ready for them to lean an Arbiter me. That looks like the right hand. Well, that is just fabulous. So let's do this thing first before I screw up. Um, then we go... Tarn Island Emery Hold on. Nope, nope. Uh Springleaf Emery. And then hold the Mox Amber for post um uh song. I showed up for the punts, not the tight play. I know, I know, I know. And I'm I'm so the player who should have gotten screwed over there. I always screw it up. And if you ask me in a vacuum, like, okay, you're playing against white taxes, and this is the kind of thing. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's sing a song. Oh, or just that. Karn this turn, song next turn, you think? I think. Just biding time until I pick up Oliver. Where are you picking up Oliver from? Hope Oliver is well. Okay, uh, so tap. So really, we just need to dodge the smasher here. So I think we just plus Karn on nothing and pass the turn. He goes to doggy daycare. Aw. Karn daddy, yeah. Big Papa Karn. Well, like, in theory, we could, um... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't thought not see or me. Uh, that's awkward. Okay, should have played the song. Okay. Did I board out a song? I didn't, right? Because I was smart? Good. But if I just bridge here, what do they do? Do they have an out for bridge? Probably not, right? I don't know, let's find out. I'm gonna look at chat in a second and be horrified by whatever I missed here. Uh, yeah, 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 we're all on my Discord.
the the thick podcast discord a podcast that doesn't exist yet Tennis balls. What a cutie. What a cutie. Path. Sure. You're just giving me more mana. I mean, I mean, that's a choice. Have they conceded? Is that I don't okay, no, it's just lagging. Okay. Okay, so probably not supposed to grab liquid metal coating here. If I get EE on two, what does that mean? Kill Stoneforge and rest in peace? Nothing on my side? Seems good. They got Batter Skull. Hilarious. Um, I should make a speedy decision here. All right, let's just grab engineer explosives. Get rid of their rest in peace. Hey, lack of unintended consequences, because I usually accidentally kill like half my shit. I guess I could get Orion at some point soon, which is not particularly useful. Speed is for non-blue players. Why not? Why not what? Get liquid metal coating? I honestly don't know, like, this is such a weird position to be in. The fact that they haven't scooped is, like, uncomfortable. I, like, um, disenchant is legal, right? Like, I guess there's theoretically a way out of this. I vote coding. Well, I can't do it now, right? Um, sure. can't disenchant if you destroy all the I mean you're right but uh yeah we'll get coding next turn for whatever reason I was worried like getting the rest in peace if you tick up the batter skull it kills the germ right uh yes it would have that would have been a good line it does end until in my next turn which doesn't really matter like they'd still have a large creature so more thought knots here's Sure. It's all you, baby. I just, I just, I don't know if they have any outs to the bridge. So I, I think this game is over. They're just like refusing to admit it. I just, for whatever reason, I thought that taking the, um, Taking the rest of peace off the table was worth doing. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. We'll find out as we go. They have Flicker Wisp. That's a good plan, or that's a good note. Which means I should have grabbed my Orion, but that's it's too late now. So we have to dodge Flicker Wisp for the foreseeable future. They can try to draw it here. EE for four power play. I mean, eventually we could. Stoneforge number two. Okay. They get to thin their deck with this. I mean, preparing a uh, insurmountable onslaught of, of Annihilation here is worth doing. So um, 
we are going to be able to, I should have cracked that end of turn. Um, so. Should I back down their white mana first? I guess I should. I have anything else to do right now? Oh, I can get my Urine. I get my Urine and reset my Karn. No. Does taxes have any good matchups? Everything that has fetch lands is a good matchup for taxes. Trump has a terrible taxes matchup. Hasn't paid it in years. But doesn't that mean he's winning? In theory? One would assume. So we have them cut off of the second white right now. They can drop in their equipment. Can't use it, but, uh, I can't get more cards in my graveyard right now, so I can get my arrow back, which doesn't matter, but So, after I kill their next white mana, we'll grab Walking Blissed and start looking at killing them. Sure. Have I found an Urza yet? Uh, just one. Okay. Because the second... Damn it. All right. The second we find an Urza, this game gets way faster. Well, I'll take that. I'll just plus it on nothing. If I found find Galvanic Blast, we'll be happy. Pick up the Shepherd Dunes, kill the Shepherd Dunes. Alright, pass the turn. No, I got him, I got him. Stri strip mining is the main plan right now, uh, Larynx Punch Worthy. Aw, yes. Well, I need to keep them off of double white. Like, if they hit... Sure. If they ever get to do the flick, Jesus. If they ever get to flicker wisp, like we could actually lose the game. No, no. Multiple human beings mentioned the fact that that could happen. So, and y'all are great. We have Pithing Needle Silent Clearing here. I know they've hit multiple of them already, but just in case. Uh, let's take up the Ran 6, I guess. We have a feast prepared, waiting for a good time to eat it. So now they've put themselves on one card in hand, though. I suggest not taking unnecessary game actions. That's the plan. Yeah, I guess I'm going to stop making food. What's my favorite ice cream play flavor? Um, Kawartha Dairy's Black Raspberry Thunder. They're getting the second white by Ghost Quartering. They don't have it. Oh my god, they have it. 
Okay, we're not gonna die. I think we lose our Karn. But we're not gonna die. Okay. Attacking Karn, attacking Karn, attacking Karn, attacking Karn. Okay. Fine by me. Well, that was neat. Love bridge. See you in 30 minutes, ugh, at most. Okay. Okay, this gets me walking ballista or engineer explosives. These explosives would kill all their thought nuts here and draw me multiple cards. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, do I have any four drops that I care about anymore? No. Okay. That seems like fun. Uh, red, green. White, blue. I'm like this close to expecting Roy to be freaking out because it's like, oh God, you're gonna kill your blank. Then you'll be screwed. Yikes. Well, that's something. All right, we just need to draw Urza somewhere along the line here. Hey, look, Urza, somewhere along the line here. Ah, no, no, my E on four. Ah, I screwed up. All right. Should have killed the Thought Not Seers before I did that. Wait, if Urza flips the Ballista, <laughs> I'm in trouble. So we need to find Karns. Okay. Should get me. Okay, good. It's getting me Ballista, and Ballista's gonna kill them relatively quickly. Yes, please. Walking Ballista. I think they have one more. This is going to kill them in like three turns. Pop your sword. Sure. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. 
13, 14. Okay, they're dead next turn. Okay. So if they pick up Path to Exile or another Flicker Wisp, they can stop me. But other than that, we got them. I don't like them having outs, but Chef it dudes. All right, that's not going to do it. Okay. Are you attacking? Sure. Deal with. So, one, two, three, Okay, I did not do this in the most uh, clock efficient way, so we might lose the timeout again. Hoping the reason this is locking up a little bit is that my opponent has conceded, but they haven't. So let's try to be clock efficient. Because I got a lot more clicks to make. Ursha should just let you choose to put it in your hand or on the battlefield to be even more god-awfully busted. What on the spin? Well, we're not spinning Urza right now. We're just cranking my Ballista for lethal. Day since we lost a time at zero. No kidding. That's normal around here. Okay, I lost four seconds on that one? Jesus. <sighs> Opponent is being real shitty about this. No, oh, they are. I I'm like 99% that they are. I'm going to try to win it, but I'm not invested in winning it. I don't need to win it. If we get it, we get it. We lost round one to timeout. If we lose round three to timeout, I mean, this is today is not about what we actually win, but it's more about what we learn. Because this is like a W in my column. No, no, I understand. That's that's what I'm saying, Jiggy. I, I agree with you. It's very possible that's exactly what they're doing, is they're picking random amounts of time uh, in which they wait and then pass priority back to me. So if I'm not paying enough attention, I will lose uh, three or four seconds instead of like one or two. So, uh, which is a bullshit sub game that doesn't make any sense, but here we are.
Perfect. So now we shoot them, save targets. I'm gaining clock right now, so we're going to be okay. The nice thing about it is I have played a good amount of video games in my life, so my ability to pay attention to a bunch of tiny cues and pay attention to things like sound effects is going to get us through this, I'm pretty sure. That said, we're cracking into serving number eight, I'm pretty sure, as soon as this game is done, because this was a journey. I understand that I used a lot more time off the clock overall than they did, but that's no excuse for this. Wait, Larry's Puncher of the Year here, right? We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to try to make our way through one week. It is not an easy song, so it's going to be a massacre, but we're going to do it in the middle of this league. Oh, it'll be the perfect time to detie. And we're just over the halfway point of this stream, too. <sighs> Opponents walking a fine line. What if they get disconnected for inactivity? They could punt themselves right out of a match win. Oh, you didn't get me, nerd. I'm here. I'm ready. Well, if they're going to make me wait a full minute for each ping here, I'm going to be really ticked off. Mostly caught up now. All right. Nachos are oven ready. Love it. We get a re-templating on Walking Ballista where the ping ability is the top ability rather than the uh, crank ability. That would be great. Salt is a way of life. Agreed. Man, what are you doing with your life, opponent, that you can just do this? At least I'm trying to make some entertaining content for humans. Well, maybe by the time we finish this game, Roy will be back. I hope so. I like that guy. Welcome, wonderful new viewers. Anyone who's hanging out here who doesn't know who I am already, my name is Zach Ryle. We're here on the Mana Symbol channel, and we're attempting 
to win a game with Kinnan Erosa. And uh, our opponent is deciding to viciously attempt to time us out. We are having a wonderful celebratory day of the potential future for all sorts of artifact-based decks and non-artifact-based decks in the modern format after the Astrolabe ban. We do have uh, Goblin Charbelcher coming up at some point later this evening. That was donated for by my good friend Alex Frank, friend and judge mentor. And um, I did try Hollow Knight. It was brutal. Game is crazy. I've got twelve seconds to do two more, so I have to be very tight on this. Yeah, Hollow Knight is a pain. That game is very difficult. You did make it look easy. You really did. I apologize to anyone who is watching this video in the future. If I had the wherewithal to go back and edit this section out, I would. If anyone knows who Do Gone Go is on Magic Online, please shame them appropriately. Game is surprisingly difficult. When you say surprising, I mean, it felt... It felt from the beginning like it was going to be quite difficult, Larynx Punch Worthy, because... When you encounter your first couple enemies, they don't die in one hit. Like, they bounce back, and they can hit you. Like, it's not like Mario, where you just jump over the Goomba. Like, it's like if you were playing Mario for the first time, and you went to jump over the Goomba, and the Goomba jumped up and just dunked on you, and you were like, what the fuck, what? Okay. All right, I've got ten seconds to ping one more time. And... That's it. No more inputs required. Shame them a little bit. I I I did. I did. OP might cast healing sap. They had zero cards in hand. Zero cards in hand. So there was literally no out. So they said, GG, you had just enough time, and I told them I only lost as much time as I did because they were they were bleeding me for it. Also, if we had not lost round one to timeout, we would be on 3-0 here. So that's kind of impressive. We're going to have to mull this hand on the draw, but that's okay. Oh, I was supposed to do um I was supposed to do one week here. Yeesh. Okay. Um This is a little rough. This is the worst hand we've drawn up so far. Oh god. And I want the Ruin Sage. Yikes. Okay. Well, we get to go turn one goose, turn two goose. <laughs> Maybe we get to do anything with that. We'll see. Oh no, we're dead. 
Well, we'll see. We beat Prowess the last time we faced them, so. That's it. All right. Let's get that counter going. Holy crap, we're on eight. I am still ahead of schedule. Took a bad angle. Do they have the other land? Interesting question. So I think I'm going to elect not to block here because if they have a Lavadart in their hand, they could just play the land afterwards and ping my goose. Although, would they bother to do that? No, they shouldn't. They should play the land first and then attack me. And then if I don't block, they just Lavadart the... No. Depends on how they're thinking about the situation. I'm not blocking. There will be a light up the stage and there's nothing I can do about it. One mana. What is it called? Why can't I remember what that card is called? Draw two cards. Tuna blue, sorcery, draw two cards. No, can't do it. It's not there. Ooh, Rift Bolt. Okay. So, a Spring Leaf Drum, play the second Goose, and then fetch uh, Scalding Tarn, end of turn. Not Scalding Tarn, Steam Vents. Okay. What is with these opponents today? Oh, they're all so slow. Why are you so slow? I clearly prepared way too many decks. That's that's the real answer. Oh, yeah. Ah, no, I haven't done uh, one week yet. We'll do one week after this game. Hopefully I'll remember. Seriously? Oh, thank goodness. And here comes the Rift Bolt. Sure. Bye, Goose. Oh, now they get it. Divination? Is it divination? It's divination, right? <laughs> Yikes. Holy shit. That's a lot of rift bolts. Remember how we were dead before Larynx Punchworthy? Now we're really dead. Shall fall fall to the mighty axe of Monored Prowess. Uh, 
actually. Oh, hold on. Hmm. Chris, get him. Get him, buddy. Come on now. Dude. Also, dude. Come on. Oh, we're just dead anyway. Yeah, we're actually actual factual dead here. So we're taking two rift bolts to the face, which puts us to five. The monastery Swiss beers are three three. They have Lavadart and Exile, so we're actual factual dead. Which is not surprising. Uh, Mull to five on the draw against Mono Red Prowess. Oh, yeah, no, sure, go completely over the top. I mean, whatever. Oh, they are, are they, is it? They have Rift Bolt. I bet they're playing Storming Entity. <clears throat> Good to know. Don't need Ashiok. Trinket Mage is probably a Scoach slow. Oh, you know it's really slow? Song. For this kind of matchup. And then maybe... Oh, Soul Guide Lantern. What's up, Brian? We're currently two and one, but our only loss has been to timing out in a match we were going to win. <laughs> we almost timed out a second time. We got lucky earlier beating Mono Red Prowess, and we're against Mono Red Prowess again, so hopefully we can get through this one. Hand is not my favorite thing in the world against Mono Red Prowess, but. Roy, why? Would you consider yourself a renegade of funk? I wish. I'm listening to some Japanese city pop right now. Which if you check out my other YouTube account, you can uh, you can get that playlist as well as some other ones. Pardon me, folks. A renegade of Weeaboo? The best of the flavors available. Yeah, I might get myself some uh, Quartha Dairy ice cream tomorrow. This person is annoying for the opposite reason. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of myself for winning that last match against the person who was trying to scum us on time so hard, though. Like, they were really working for it. Beep, 
pim 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 baby dip dim pim pim baby dip dim pim 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 baby dip dim pim pim baby dip dim pim pim baby dip dim oh finally wow my ability resolved well, that's just hunky dory yeah there's the delver so tap steam vents play spring leaf drum and then we're gonna blast it i was fast as oracle admitted from this deck because this is not a combo deck um basically the idea with this deck for me is this is the like most fair version of the Ken and Rosa deck and the way that we combo kill um is if we have to go song go off um then we grab time sieve out of the sideboard with Karn play that take an extra turn and then just attack them dead Well, Thassa's Oracle takes up a main deck slot, but since we're already playing four of Karn, it was like, I, I was trying to think of how can I not play a bad card in the main deck? Because Thassa's Oracle is ostensibly a very poor card. Also, th the one Thassa's Oracle could get exiled, and if it does, like, wh what do you do? If you need to go off that turn. This deck is not trying to win the game with What? Okay. My opponent just went Lavadar gut shot on my goose. Yeah, that's basically it. Which is weird to say considering it's an 80 card deck, but I seriously... I, I don't know. I, I think... I think it's correct to do it the way I did it. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't do it. Let's play four mana Jace instead. <laughs> it has the same problem. Beep, 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 beep. Well, we got a free win against Prowess. Hooray. Jace the Living Guild Pack, yikes. No, <laughs> you don't understand. He mills them two. Two cards. Uh, Roy, I did look up yesterday the clip, because I really wanted to see it, of Aspiring Spike being like, who are we going to raid? Who are we going to raid? Oh, Mana Civil. He doesn't have a lot of people watching him. No, I don't want to raid someone who's still playing Astrolabe. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. Right in my soul. All right, we're keeping this. This is rough, but maybe we get there. Double Goose is hard to turn down. No turn one play. Yikes and a half. Okay, we got another shot at it. Wow. They must have Manamorphos into Stormwing Entity. No, no way. Okay, 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 okay. They levitated me. Okay, that's good. Um, so I think we go drum Renin six. I could also play Goose and Drum and Renin Six. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. 
roasted by a famous streamer, you're now part of the cabal of streamers. I mean, that was the dream, right? Okay. So they have to play a spell next turn to reduce the cost of the storming entity. It's possible they can kill my Ren and Six here, but even if they do, we're going to be okay. Should be. So Risky Hand is thus far pairing, paying off. Let's see if it continues to do so. I think there's a good chance they go Swift Spear Spell Spell. Bolt? What? Oh, uh, they killed one of my geese? Plus Storming Entity. Sure. That's fair. So we get to go Uro Emery Shadow Spear? Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. So play the land, play the amber. Yeah, we, we can't get Uro to play this turn, but next turn for sure. The Savagery Roy is if someone uh, sends back a clip to them where I go, Roy, did you just call Aspiring Spike famous? I mean, I guess he's alright. Bet I wouldn't do that because I actually like Spike. Seems like good people. Alright, tap for blue. That dies. Get a green... Thanks, Zephyr. I don't remember who you are. Hope that's no offense. So we get to Uro next turn. Regardless of anything else. We're close to being able to play Uro right now. But we can't quite. Uh, so let's just play the Shadow Spear. And I could equip it. It's probably not worth doing. It only takes my creatures up to three toughness, which is not particularly relevant. They do have to remove my Gilded Goose if they want to crack in on my Ren and Six for the sort of maximum amount. And they only have four cards in hand. Good. Sprite Dragon. Neat. Got shot. Uh oh. They also have a light up the stage. Oh, this is gonna get scary quick. Yep. Well, let's hope they don't have a land. Also, let's hope they don't have a land in their hand. Gut shot and a braid. They can play the gut shot. Not for any particular value. So we'll see what they attack here. Attacking me. Okay. I'm just gonna block the five, I think. So they can go gut shot Lavadart to take down my Emery here. Refus? Repus, 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 Repus. <laughs> I'm confused too, don't worry. Good. Glad I'm not the only one, Jesus. Okay, so can't do that this turn. I think we're in the play Uro and pray we hit a Galvanic Blast camp. Which is not the best place to be.
Uh, I should have picked up land beforehand. Oh, no, no. I still have two mana. Crack my food. So I'm at essentially 19, which is pretty good. Oh, never mind. Uh, blue. Oh, no. I can still, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I goofed. Hopefully we don't die by three. They are light on mana. Because they used... Maybe you forgot to say the underscore out loud backwards. I... Is there something to that though? It's like if you if you say X's all in a row. Do, do you remember the thing from when you were a kid? I don't know if you had the same thing I had. Man, if they have like a lightning bolt, we're just dead, right? So if you say X over and over and over and over again out loud, it eventually starts sounding like sex. So they're shattering my shadow spear. Okay. Well, we're not dead, we're just close. Six, yeah, like six, okay. Okay. Yeah, we're just looking to hit Galvanic Blast here. Well, we've already got Kinnon in play. That's, that's a big deal for this turn. So let's fetch. Two mana, okay. Song, yield, okay. Oh, well, yeah, there's that. Do do be beauty beauty do. -do, 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 -do. Yikes, okay. So now I can actually kill a Sprite Dragon? Seems good. Have I... I haven't hit any other Galvanic Blasts. Only one more in my deck. Oh, I can just kill them. Right. Okay. I can kill them right now, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have a second Galvanic Blast. Who's the burn deck now, mother... Are you ready? Galvanic Blast is ready. Killing them sounds like a plan. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Are you ready? Running Six is ready. Oh yeah. Who's the burn deck now? I got this for one mana. Four damage right to your face. And there ain't no way to survive it. So, for reference, we died in match one due to, due to timing out here. Because I didn't think long enough in game two. Had to figure out a username for Warcraft 3. Nice. Which ended up as Sephiroth Demix because I was Big Kingdom Hearts fan. As a... Holy crap. I remember you, but I, I... Did I ever know you IRL? I don't know, because I knew you through uh, Patrick. Sir Fishing Kills. Not IRL, no. Yeah, of course. Of course I remember. Yeah. We played a lot of Dota. Are you, you're um, Danish? Holy crap. How did you find the stream? I Maybe you, did you have me followed from when we used to play Dota? Wow. Uh, okay, Larry's Punchworthy, are you still here and listening? Because I have to ruin people's uh, lives a little bit here. If Larry's Punchworthy is still here and listening. Wow, that's awesome, Sefer. Followed some months ago, but I don't remember how I found you. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, I do I do promotion on YouTube and, uh, and all sorts of all over the place, so... Uh, I don't remember us ever mentioning that either of us played Magic, but I, we probably did at some point. All right, we'll just do it in between uh, in between decks, whether Punch were these here or not.
I have no idea what's going on. That's it. that's that's fantastic. That don't worry about it. Magic's simple. Roy will teach you. Oh well, that that means a lot, man. We should play Dota at some point. Do you still play? I haven't played in forever. I don't. I don't think I have it installed right now. But uh, I was thinking of doing it as like a bonus stream at some point. Yeah, this is a banging opener. Remember, Magic is a simple, straightforward game where the better player always wins. I don't understand. You quit some years ago from playing Dota? That's probably a good choice. We're against Madrick here. Don't thought seize me. Don't do it. Don't take the right card. Don't do it. On the plus side, these kind of like black X mid range, they took the Emery. Okay. It's kind of black red mid range decks um, tend to be okay matchups for what we're doing here. Because we're just going to slow roll value and probably grind them into the dirt. So let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't yield through the turn. Don't yield through the turn. Yield until next end step. Croxa. Sure. I wonder if I should have been playing around Blood Moon. Oh well. So Kennen doesn't really do anything for me right here, so we're just going to make a food EOT and play Urza the next turn. Maman sûr. Ma, monster. Uh, your deck is up next, Brian, so if you are around, then I don't have to ping you, FYI, so it'll be good to know. Okay, I think I'm going to start getting some number of basics here. That quote is not original content, FYI, Roy. That's a that's a Jeff Hoogland. That's not exactly how you would say it, but it's close. Oh, it's low variance. Magic is a low variance game where the better player always wins. That was the uh, the Hoogland. Yeah. I have another meeting right after the one I'm in. Oh, uh, how long are those going to be? Because if they're going to be particularly long, we can always do Belcher first. Because, like, largely doesn't matter when we do Belcher, I assume. I think Alex is here. Belcher will be a good deck to, like, get hammered playing. <laughs> All right, so here comes the Croxa. Luckily, we've got Karn into bridge if we want it. Okay, we're gonna take three. Scar this island. You're everywhere. Everywhere I wanna be. Five. Yeah, yeah, we can play. Uh, we can play Karn Bridge here. I love the go with magic ways. Hey, hey. I'm everywhere I want to be. Got it. So four, play Karn. Tap one, two, and then yeah. Okay, cool. 
Um, is cannon free this turn? No. Call. Bridge. Tap. Tap. Sack of food. Bridge. Okay. Oh, I could have just Aether Spell on the Croxa. Oh. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. It's not... Let's not not ultimate my Ren and Six. I have no spells in my main deck, but they don't know that. So if they have like a Dreadbore or something like that, they're pretty heavily incentivized to remove my Ren and Six here. Which is great for me, because Ren and Six doesn't do nothing. Also, as I predicted in the beginning of this one, this is the exact kind of deck that we just like completely eat for lunch. So good luck opponent. Okay. Pyromancer, sure. Alex is a way of life, a sage philosophy by which the masses strive. No, McKinnon! No! Oh, well then. Okay. Alright, so we're going to downtick Karn for something that's not particularly exciting this turn, which is like Tormod's Crypt. We're doing that because Tormod's Crypt is free and we're about to reset our Karn. Uriah. I should do that at some point. Record that. Okay. Slide everything except for Red and Six. Pick up a land. I'm a globalist. Ooh. Holy what? Oh yeah! Opponent is here to grind. Oh! Oh yeah! Opponent plays Demigod of Revenge. Oh my god. I don't even... That is so... That is so freaking sweet. They had one in their yard. I did not notice it when it went in there. Uh, that's on me, but I I'm so enthused. So I can almost kill them with this ballista. So let's ping them. Two, three, four, five. Okay. There'll be, be a couple turns to kill with Blissa. Oh, I'm one short. Uh, Okay. I'm assuming they're playing um, Coligan's Command. <laughs> There's an awful lot of black pips on their side. You're not telling me they're going to plan on uh, Merchant of Asphodeling me. Gray Merchant? Gary? They're not going to Gary me, are they? Roy, why would you wish that evil on me? 
I can't tap for green because I'm sloppy. Okay. I could get liquid metal coating, but okay, why not? I guess. Get rid of that castle embrith. Yeah. Yeah, what are you gonna do now, nerd? Enjoy the stream, folks. I just wanted to tell Ach he was looking dapper. I'm back to lurking. Hey, Sefer, thank you so much for coming by. Chime in whenever you want. And um, if you are ever interested in playing any Dota, let me know. I don't have any particular interest in doing it, but it would be like good to put together a list of people because like it's way better when you can play with two to five people. Be fun to do it eventually at some point. Bing, 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 bing. But it does look like uh, this deck still has legs, which is great. Good to know that this deck is still very functional even without uh, Arkham's Astrolabe. Because my cards for this deck literally just arrived today. Well, that's problematic. One, two. They just top decked the um, Colgan's Command. Okay. It's gain three life. All I have to do is not die this turn. Never touching Dota again. Okay, cool. So I think we will bounce the Croxa. Boink. I have a four five to block their five fours. Oh, and a goose if they want to attack my card. So this is not going to matter. And we, what we can do is Tormod Crypts ourselves. Tormod's Crypt ourselves. And then Wish for the Bridge. However, if they overcommit on this attack, I can just kill them on the Crackback. Um, what if... What if we just block... Eh. Okay. We'll block like this. And then uh, we'll make another food. So we should just kill them on the crack back here, but we'll see what happens. Interesting. Ping. Okay. So let's go Karn for the big boat. They scoop. Now they scooped. They realize they're dead. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yay, magic. So we're going to knock down their seasoned pyromancer and just crack in and kill them. So, uh, yeah, this is the Veil of Summer matchup for sure. I don't think I need Galvanic Blast. Pithing Needle seems less than great against them for what I might need it for. Um, Ashiok's probably fine. That's my board out for three Bale of Summers. It feels okay. Not great. Probably don't need Shadow Spear here. Just keep the fourth round six. You could also wish for it too if we wanted to. Galvanic Blast seems like something I'd want, but really I just have to resist their uh, their their burn and discard and the other destruction and stuff. So 
that keepable? God, it's so close. Turn one, spring leaf. But, mm, if we get discarded, it's really bad, but this hand is otherwise kind of fire. So I'm going to keep it. Hope that we dodge a six string of discard spells. So far we have. That makes this way better. So Gilded Goose. Um, I'm not going to play the Mox Amber because it's not going to matter. Whatever they take from my hand from this point isn't going to matter. Next turn we can play Talisman into Emery plus Amber plus Springleaf Drum or not. Uh, no, we can still do that. Huh. Wow. Good draw. So Talisman doing work in this game. Second Amber is less than great uh, in the early part of this game, but it's fine. We have an Uro. So we should be able to get through it. Mox. Emery. Mill. Gate. Oh no. Oh no! Where is it? Uh. Oh, no. no? They just want their F6 equity? It'll push. Okay, got it. Ah, I should tap the thing and the. Nah, that's fine. Let's play the Springleaf Drum next turn. Off the row. It'll totally be fine. Probably. Skelemental. That's a big yikes. Whew. Okay, this is actually a really tough choice. I think it's Drum and Amber. Boy, that sucks. This way I can play front side of Uro and maybe be okay. If I had drawn uh, exactly land there, then if I discarded the Uro, I would have been able to play the Uro there. But I guess I decided that was riskier than I wanted. This is really bad if they have another Skelemental. Skelemental was not on my radar at all. If we pick up a blue or green at any point coming up... Yikes! Okay. Now I have to draw a mana source that isn't a fetch land. Oh boy. Whew! That's... That's rough. Man, this went off the rails fast. Oh no! Ah, they're both so good. <laughs> Humiliation. Sure is, friend. Land? Not a fetch land? Oh no. Why is there an upkeep stop? Oh, I don't like it. Man, my hand, hand was almost good there. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is our uh, our deck suffering the catastrophic meltdown that it occasionally does. The sad thing is we have Galvanic... No, we don't have Galvanic Blast in the deck, which would be nice for dealing with Ashiok, but we don't have them. What is with the upkeep stop? Do you have a coal against command? You're going to shatter and make me discard? Because if you do, just do it. I have four cards. So many consecutive backbreaking plays. I mean, that's that's the name of the game, I guess. Yeah, they're playing the coal against command. Jesus. Yeah, they're getting back the skeletal, sure. So we discard Karn and Mox Amber, and then maybe, 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 maybe we can get through this. Shh. 
shit. They have Liliana plus the Skelemental. I have no hand. As long as they play the Skelemental, which... Yeah, okay. Can't beat that one. Okay. All right, I think we were fine. We just slightly got taken apart there. No, we, we have the Veil of Summers in. This is so close. All right. I'm going to risk it. Opponent Mulligan's to six. Mulligan's to five. Mulligan's to five. Nope. All right. I have your blessing. Oh, thanks, Roy. I'm hoping they kept the discard spell hand and not the removal spell hand. We made it. All right. We need a clench function. I don't know what it would say though. We get a we could get a um, <laughs> We could get a um we get an emote. Clench sounds like a good emote. With just like text that said H N G H H. Maybe the R in there. It's certainly an option. Croxa, that's fine. What am I even discarding here? Trick it, mage? Definitely not Emery. It might be Song. Song seems insane against them, though. Like, they literally can't deal. I think I'm going to take the trick. Can't cast Emery plus Mage next turn. Can I? I can. All right. I just don't know if they can beat a Song, right? Like, if we got to play the Song, could they win that game ever? I don't... I don't know. Yeah. I think I'd rather discard the Trinket Mage. We'll bobble them here because I would like to draw a land. Oh, wait, I already had the land. Yikes. We just play Kinnon plus Emery? Yeah. Land was within us all along, that's right. Uh, I can poop out a food first. Yeah, make a food, then play Emery for one skimsy. 
Okay, so now they basically have to kill Cannon and Emery and knock cards out of my hand. If they just Skelemental, we have all the things in play to grind them. If they play Skelemental and attack Ren and Six, we're in good shape. They're, they're, almost anything they can do here, we're going to be okay. So The question is, how good is their play here? Magic makes for some really weird English. Absolutely. Target player discards a card and kill the Emery. Yeah, that's fine. Discard Urza. We're going to play the song next turn and hope we can go off anyway. Ninjutsu is a verb, yeah. Can I do both these things? Holy crap, I definitely can. Yeah, okay. Uh, I have to be careful about the way I tap my mana, but that's okay. So go red, red, and then green, blue. Wait, do I? No, I don't. What am I talking about? Hold on. Play the song, play the car, and make many wishes. Yeah, this is fine. I don't know how I got freaked out about that, but that's okay. Karn, draw two. Wee! All right, can play that. Down to Karn. Tormod's Crypt, draw two. Wait, whoa, 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 damn it. Double damn it. Ah, it's so frustrating. Well, we're gonna discard an Uro here, so as long as I don't get Blood Moon, I'm fine. No. Yeah, we just passed the turn here. Kinda sucks, but we're discarding an Uro, so I think we'll be okay. I guess if they Ashiok me, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but if they Ashiok me, I still have Karn ready to go, so... So it looks like this deck is on a 4-1 that would have been a 5-0 if we hadn't timed out, so... Oh. You! You go, girl! You get that season, Pyromancer. Look at your mid-range value. How could I ever keep up with that? Mm. Mm. What am I going to do? What am I going to do against that? It's just there's no... It's no recovering from this kind of situation. It's working! It's working! All right. Um, what am I actually going to do? <sighs> play Uro, play Uriah, I guess, and then just sit with an unassailable board. That's probably the right way to win this. Hi, Larry Spongeworthy. Home with Oliver. Aw. Nice. Girl, look at that body. Mm. Girl, look at that body. Mm. I work out. Oh. Or look at that body. All right. Uh, we might just be carning for time save here and winning the game. Actually, we definitely are. 
What am I talking about? So, Roy, if you were asking why this deck doesn't have... Um, why it doesn't have Bass's Oracle in it, it's, it's, it's for these games. You just don't need it. Magic player who beats Dead Horse has balls of steel. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, -oh. play E on zero. If we had an Urza, I'd be happy to play that. Come on, really? Okay, we officially fizzled off. I do have two mana floating right now. So I guess we just play a new Karn. Streams glitching, are you dropping frames? I am not. Not as far as I've been made aware. Get a ballista for next turn. Huh. I really don't have that many artifacts to play right now. Oh well. Time save, activate, so one, two, three, four, five. Alright. Oh, hold on. We're not done. Plus my card on nothing. Okay. End my turn. Discard my hand. Okay, go to the next turn. Whee! Let's go to attacks. So, goose make a food. Goose make a food. How many Urzas do I have left in my deck? That's two in exile. Sorry, two in the graveyard, one in exile. Okay. So, we're not going to hold out for more Urzas. Play a Mox Amber. Yeah. Draw some cards. Talisman. Draw some cards. One, two, three, four. Mox Amber. Draw some cards. Okay. Let's just go get a Ballista. Ballista X4, ah, I should have done 5, but that's okay. Time Sieve again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Charge. 
charge. Attack for eight, uh, 12 and then ping them to death. Whee! And that's what a 4 0 looks like. Or, sorry. <laughs> that's what a 4 1 looks like. So, just actually, I want to collect Canadian friends like Pokemon. How do I entice them into staying in airtight balls? Tim Hortons? It depends on the Canadian. Um, Quebec Quebecers, you want to use the Putin. Uh, and if you use the Putin, you want to use the real Giz cards, you know? You just can get them from your American Wisconsin. Yay, we did it! So, 4 1, and if we hadn't timed out in round one, it would have been a 5 0. Um, wow. So, yeah. Uh, looks like Kin and Rosa is still quite powerful. Um, obviously, we had a bit of variance in our in our favor, but we played against two different prowess decks, uh, and everyone yeah, we snaked out both prowess wins. So that was wild. What what a league! Um, I'm gonna ping my good friend Brian M because we are going to be playing uh, his deck in a second here. No, wait, wait, wait. We're going to do Belcher in a second. We are going to be doing Belcher. So uh, let me get everything set up to do that because that was not on my original plan. But my good friend Alex uh, donated for it, so we're going to do that. So hold on a second. Hang tight. Okay, and set is current. Okay. You okay? So deck is now set to Belcher. Um, just any more wrap up thoughts? No, deck seems good. Uh, the one Ashiok was really clutch in one match. I don't know if we keep one Ashiok. <laughs> we want to burrito that league. Doesn't that mean Zach puts on clothing? No. How many hours can I commandeer for Subnautica? Is it supposed to be a twelve hour magic stream? You could commandeer post. 12 hour time for Subnautica. The problem with Subnautica is I'd have to take down the stream and put it back up. I really don't want to do that today, um, Larynx Punchworthy. So if after 12 hours of this and I am exhausted and probably mostly drunk, you want me to play some Subnautica, I am in for it. I cannot guarantee you a level of enthusiasm. I won't be awake. Well, that's unfortunate, my friend. It's only four and a half hours away. Um, that said, I will be happy to do a Subnautica stream tomorrow night. Uh, I think it's Friday, and I was planning on seeing her, and we could do that too. Anyway, so, Teamer, Canonical Song. Still banging, still good. Uh, we are going to be swapping over to Legacy, and doing Legacy Belcher in a second here, so that's exciting. Um, so, please stick around for that. Then we'll be doing uh, Urian, uh, Urian Grixis Urza, which was submitted by Brian M., Suggested by Brian M. Um, so I want to get a tweet to that measure. Larynx Punch, where the, are you able to stick around for just one second more? Because I need to pull up uh, One Week by the Bare Naked Ladies and attempt to sing it. Or is this still snapped and half busted? I mean, I don't know about that, but. But I do think the great Jiggy Wiggy will likely 5-0 with this list uh, before the next um, deck dump. Gotta get this deck imported. Are you still here, Punchworthy? Time to start the unban Opal, Opal campaign. 
Still going strong. Yeah, but uh, Schwen, we're about to play some Legacy, if you're interested. Is this a mono red deck, or is it red-black? 